Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, so today, uh, it's a day off for me. It's a week day off. Um, so I, we're gonna be doing a bunch of things. I've been really wanting to get into the spring cleaning um, mode, but I've just been on call. During the week, it's kind of complicated. We went on vacation. <laughs> Um, and then I've been working all of my other days off. I've been covering in our service. So it's been kind of crazy <laughs> and all over the place. But today, um, I have a couple things to do. But what I really want to do today is I want to rearrange my closet. I want to do like a full spring cleaning, a full purge, and just kind of like reorganize everything and try to make it look clean and organized and real pretty. We might need to go shopping for some bins and things, but that is what we're going to be doing today. Um, so yeah, um, I'm going to take you along with me. Hopefully it'll turn out okay. The lighting today is kind of horrible because it's a really like cloudy, musky day. So we'll do the best the best that we can. Um, but yeah, I'm so excited to finally get a day off and be able to like purge and reorganize my closet because I really want to make it look good and make it inspire me to get dressed every day. I've been watching like a bajillion YouTube videos on how to reorganize small closets um, or like small walk-in closets with the wire shelving. And those kinds of things since we live in a rental there's not that much that we can do but i got some ideas so hopefully we'll be able to make it work um so if you haven't subscribed already i would love to have you back in my channel my content is mostly lifestyle and um health women's health related um i am an OBGYN resident so i don't have that much time off but when i do i like to make um little educational videos on how to become an OBGYN, what the lifestyle is like, and those kinds of things. Um, I also have a really active social media, so you can follow me on Instagram, and um, I have a blog as well where you can follow um, some of my other previous posts. Um, I haven't been active in there recently, but I do have a bunch of really, really good um, material there for medical students and just women in general. Um, so without further ado, let's get started. Hey guys, so we're here in my closet and I mean it's pretty functional but I just want to make it look a lot better than it does right now. Uh, so we're going to be taking all of these things out and then just purging through my stuff and then figuring out how I'm going to rearrange it so all. So this is my side of the closet. I have some bins up here with where I was keeping all of my winter sweaters and my thermal shirts and all that and then this is my clothes i have a shoe rag and then a shoe disaster in the bottom and then i have some of my bags up there i switched it out so i like to keep the things that i'm wearing over here and then here the other things that i'm not wearing all the time so i switched it out recently and i put all of my winter stuff up here and then i put my like more spring summery things here um, but I don't know if I want to keep it that way and then here in the bottom I have all of my pants um, and all that and then this is my husband's side which I'm not going to show because um, he is but hopefully we're going to be taking all of this out purging through it and then figuring out how to make it look good. <laughs> out I'm gonna leave these here because I don't have much room in my bed left anymore um, and then as soon as I start clearing things out I will get these off and then reorganize them as well okay now I'm gonna clean a little bit <laughs>
process, but I think we've come a really long way. So let me show you. I still have a ton of things on the bed that I have to sort through, but it's mostly like the winter clothes. I don't know what I'm going to do with them. Um, I'm thinking of buying like a storage thing or something to put all of them in so that the closet looks neat and clean. Um, but let me show you what I've done so far. It's my side of the closet. So I put all of my work scrubs over here. And then I have the clothes that I'm using right now. Um, since this is the longest area that I have in the closet, I am forever required to put all of my dresses in this area. But previously I had all of my shoes in here, my shoe rack. And sometimes they look a little bit messy. So I decided to put them over here. And I think it looks a little bit better. And then I have my tall boots on that corner and then I have room to stack boxes in there. And then I pull out of my pant, I put all of my pants and my skirts over here. And then I decided to go with the like Kanmari method thing and then pull out of my jeans folded in this little basket. And then I have all of my like leggings and like winter leggings and tights and stuff over there. So I think this is a good start. Um, so I think I'm gonna leave it here and then um, finish some other things and then go shopping to get some more baskets and stuff so that I can finish organizing the rest of the things that I have. You guys are not gonna believe what just happened to me. <laughs> this, uh, of course, it only happens to me or it probably happens to a lot of people, but you know, this happens to me all the time. So I was looking for, um, you know, room for where I could like put the storage boxes that I was thinking of getting for like the winter winter clothes and all that and in our coat closet we have all of our luggage and I realized oh why don't I just like put everything inside the luggage so I set up the camera and everything to like show how I'm, how I'm packing all the winter stuff in there <laughs> and apparently I pressed record and stop at the same time so I have like a one second clip of me packing the luggage where I'm putting all of my winter stuff so total fail for closet organization and crap because I just like have no clip for for that but whatever so basically I just put all of my winter stuff in um, one of our luggages and now it's nicely stored in there it all folded neatly with all of the other winter stuff in our luggage in the coat closet so trick there storing trip uh, blah, blah, blah. Storing trick or tip, um, use your luggage, use things that you already have in your house um, to store things that you're not using at this time. A plus Janice, A plus. Hey guys, so I wanted to give you guys an update on the closet. It's been a few days since I originally started filming this about a week and a half or so but uh, I'm still waiting for some pieces to come in so that I can finish building the things that I want to build but I wanted to give you an update to see how we are doing so far so this is the closet now we have shoes in this area down here this is what I'm gonna be uh, switching up a little bit more so I'm gonna I bought some um, white stands like bookshelf kind of things um, so that I can start stacking shoes on there and see how it looks hopefully I can get two of them here and then ha still have some space in the top but I can married all of my scrubs and my work pants down here you can't really see it that well I hope to have better lighting in a little bit and then I have all of my work pants and skirts up here. My husband has his pants all the way up here and then all of his shirts. And then I've got these little um, tubs from Walmart. They're like, I think $5. Um, they're pretty big, so they fit a lot. And then we put some um, t-shirts here and some pants here. Um, took this idea of putting the baskets um, on the side and then on my side um, we have a little bit one of my handbags here I'm putting my blue Michael Kors bag here then I have all of my jeans stacked up here 
I have all of my tops and blouses and dresses in here. And then I put our hampers on each side and some shoes. I'm still figuring that out. And then I also have one tubby here with all of my like miscellaneous items like shoe bags, extra jewelry boxes, bag, handbag, dust bags, things like that. And then up here is my Dagna Dover. This is a toes bag. This is another Michael Kor bag. My uh, Mahi leather duffel bag that I use for travel and my Aldo bag here. Um, so that's what I have so far. And I might switch up a few more things when I get the shoe storage, but that is what we have going on so far. Hey guys, so I woke up a little bit ago. Um, as you can see, I haven't slept very much. I'm post call and the cat only let me sleep like two and a half hours. But I'm super excited because our little units for the closet for shoe storage just got here. Well, they didn't just get here, they got here in the morning. So when I arrived from my conference, I saw they were here, I put them inside. I was gonna try and build them, but I wanted to get some rest and I did that. And now that I'm awake and I ate, I am ready to start building, building them. <laughs> so um, I'm gonna insert a little time lapse of me building the units and setting up the closet. Uh, but I think uh, I'm gonna have enough space to put two on each side. So I might need to order two more, but that's what's up guys. Talk to you later. Okay guys, so this is phase like 2.5 of the closet completed. So I got these units and I only got two instead of four because I wanted to know how much space I would have. Even though I took measurements, I knew that two could fit. I just wanted to know how it would look. And I think I'm gonna go ahead and order the second set of shelves just because it's gonna look better and I'm not gonna have all this lost vertical space here also i need more room for my shoes because this storage unit is a little bit smaller than the one that we had before so yeah that's what's going on right now So this is my dressing room. It's been many months since I filmed the original makeover video, but I wanted to show you what the end product looked like. So up here we have my work pants, some miscellaneous pants and skirts, and then my other skirts are here. And this is my husband's side. And then over here at the top I have just bags, handbags and travel bags that are in their respective um, dust bags. Over here at the top, we have some of my bags. I left my jeans up here, and then we have more bags up here. Then over here, since it's winter time, I have all of my sweaters and the rest of my clothes, because I still sometimes, when it's not so cold, um, I can wear some of these clothes, and then my dresses are here in the back. As you can see, I have everything by um, color-coded, and then over here in the bottom, I have my boxes for some of my shoes that are hidden in this corner. I have my hamper, and then I have some shoes that don't fit 
in my shelf. So over here at the top, um, in the right in the front, um, I have the two shelves that I built that you can see. Um, last time you saw me building the first shelf and then after that I ordered another um, shelf to put on top of it. So I have my shoes over here. So over here we have my Betsy Johnson shoes, my Johnny B Binney shoes. Um, we have my LV Croset bag. We have some boots that I ordered for this season. These boots are just gorgeous. Um, they're so beautiful. They're incredibly comfortable. They have a nice low heel, so they're perfect for this time around. And I've already worn them a lot during um, my clinic days in the winter. And then over here, then we have most of my flats, some lower heels, and then the rest of my shoes, and same for my husband. As you can see, we um, put them differently. I like the one towards the front and one backwards um, organization. I feel like it saves a lot of space, especially for heels, and it displays them very nicely. Then on the other, on the other side, my husband has his stuff. Um, he decided to do things a little bit different. His bin is down here. Over here at the top, he has some miscellaneous clothes and he kept the um, stacked um, shelf here and then his clothes are over here. And then, yeah, that is the finished product um, of our closet. I think it turned out very, very nicely and um, I really like the end product with the shelves. Um, I kind of wish I'd gotten the Ikea shelves because their height is a little bit better and I would have been able to put my heels in there as well. But I like the fact that this is displayed nicely and I still have some vertical space over here to put my handbag. But yeah, it looks so beautiful. It makes me very happy to organize it and keep it clean and organized and I have some of my handbags displayed and I just think it looks very nicely. I also like that I used this corner here to kind of hide our extra hangers and keep them out of view and then it keeps it looking very nice and pristine. Chance come.